everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here go ahead and click that subscribe button and join me for another hot chalky chat hot chalky chats we're gonna chat and have some jockey yeah we are and it's hot now my background might look a little different in this video. I thought I would take the opportunity to make my background a little supernatural, if you will, because in this episode of Hot Chalky Chats, I wanted to discuss a few of the weird little things that I saw as a child growing up. When I was younger, I always thought that I was a little bit different, a little bit strange, right? And I felt like I could really relate to people or just feel their feelings or I could look at somebody and I felt like I could see how they felt, who they were, what their life was like. Probably just a really great imagination, but that's how I felt as a child when I looked at someone, right? When I was six or seven, that was the first time that I really remember having an experience with seeing strange things that I couldn't explain. We lived in this house and we call it the greenhouse because it was in fact green. I turned seven in that house, so I believe I was probably six when I lived there. And I don't remember anything too menacing about the house itself, except for the fact that it just had a really bad vibe. It had a really bad feeling, really bad energy. When you walked in the front door, directly opposite the front door was a big glass sort of, I don't know what you call it, like an atrium. Like you could see out into the yard and it was really scary looking out there, especially when it was dark. There was all these trees and bushes. If you were lost in the bush, that's what it looked like in our yard. And if you looked out there in the dark, it actually looked like just people standing out there. So I hated looking at it. I never looked out the window. I always closed my eyes when I went past when it was dark. I just hated it. I don't remember actually seeing anything specific that I can remember, but my sister has told me that when we lived in that house together, that she did see a shadowy figure standing in the hallway. And that doesn't really surprise me, to be honest, because I just really... I couldn't walk around that house in the dark. Eerie vibes, I just hated it. Fast forward, we actually moved next door. Bear with me. We built, we sold the house, the greenhouse, and then we rented in a house down the street while we built the house next door that we called the yellow house because you guessed it, it was yellow. And this is really where my journey with ghosts and experiencing supernatural things kind of starts. So I must have been about eight by this time. The layout of the house is you would walk in the front door, you'd have little steps down to the garage door and you'd have little steps up. It was like a landing and you'd have steps up and then you would go into the house and you'd have all your open plan living and then you'd go to the back of the house and there was two bedrooms at the back of the house that were my room and my sister's room and then you'd come back through the open plan living back near the front door where that landing was and there was a staircase up to my parents retreat which was complete opposite end to where I was I was here in a bedroom they were up here upstairs in a parents retreat now mind you I'm eight years old being that far away from my parents seemed really scary to me at the time. I had multiple, multiple, numerous repetitive nightmares in this house. Where my room was situated, it had, it was just like a square rectangle room, right? I had bunk beds on one side, a window at the back, my wall covered in handsome posters, and that was basically it. Where my head was, was the window. I couldn't see out the window from the way I laid, but I was laying like kind of underneath the window, right? So every night I would dream that standing at that window was a man in a black trench coat and a black wide brim hat and it was all black and he was standing in my backyard and there was all these people behind him with shovels digging up my backyard. And sometimes in this nightmare, he would reach into his jacket and pull out a gun. And that's it. That's all the dream was, right? It was just me 
looking out my window, seeing this man in a trench coat, going to pull out a gun, and about five people behind him digging up my yard for what I assumed was bodies. They were digging for bodies. I had this dream almost every night, and then even when I moved out of that house for at least one to two years after, I still dreamt about it. So it got me thinking that there is probably something buried on that land where our backyard was. Because every time I went in the backyard, again, awful, eerie feeling, hated it. Could never look out my window because of this dream. Could never go outside in the dark because it was just, ugh, 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 hated it. And most nights I'd wake up from this dream and I would just run screaming through the house, upstairs and stay in my parents' room. Pretty much every night. You ask my mum, I was in there every night. Because I had this same nightmare every night. Now, the specifics of the dream don't really sound that scary, but to an eight-year-old, it felt horrible. Felt horrifying. So that was my first experience in the house. I think we lived in this house for about maybe three years, and during that time, I actually lost three relatives. Three relatives of mine passed away, not in the house, but whilst we lived in that house. And one of them was my grandfather. My father had gotten some belongings of his in like a big army type storage metal box situation. And we put that in the study in the spare room of this house in a cupboard. Now this cupboard was just a single door and it was one, it was like a door. So you just pushed it shut and that was it. And then the doors to the study were actually like bifolds, bifold doors. Ever since we got my grandfather's belongings and put them in that door, that room to me felt really weird as well. And my computer was in there and I would sit in there on ICQ chatting to my little internet friends I made in Yahoo chat rooms. And I could never look behind me at that wardrobe. I don't know what it was, but there was just something about the wardrobe. And whenever I would walk past that room, the wardrobe would be open this much, just this much. And it's not like a wardrobe that could just come undone. Like you had to, it's one of those things that like you, it stuck in. Hi Archie, sit down. It stuck in like, it was like thunk when you shut it. So to have somebody open it, it would need a little tug. So the fact that it was just slightly open all the, and yeah, I had to go in and push it shut all the time and it just really irked me. It irked me when I could see that thin black line of it being open. I just hated it and <laughs> the bifold doors would just be, because we kept that, we kept that room closed. The bifold doors would just be like, ding, tiny bit open all the time. No reason. That doesn't seem like a big deal, right? When you're eight, you're feeling some type of way and everything around you scares you. You really start to notice these things and the vibe, I just hated it. And then one night near the front door of this landing, there was a big wall that you had to kind of walk around to go into the living area. And on this side of the wall was our piano. One night I'm sitting there playing the piano, la 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 la. And it's probably about six, seven o'clock, the sun's down and I'm sitting there and the wall was above my head, but on this side, it went all the way to the ceiling. And to my right, I see a shadowy figure step out from behind the wall next to me. And I've just gone, and like run, run to the lounge room where my parents were sitting. And they're like, what's wrong? I was like, I just saw someone. Someone just walked out of there. And dad, you know, walked around, opened the front door, walked down, opened the garage door. Nobody's there, Jamie. Hmm, just crazy Jamie again, seeing things. And then finally, the last thing that I saw while I was in this house was up the staircase to mum and dad's room. I was just in the lounge room. You could see the staircase from the lounge room and you know, just walking around doing my business again. It's probably about six or seven o'clock at night. It's pretty dark. I look up to the top of the stairs and I see a shadowy figure of an olden day lady, like big hooped skirt and 
big hat, like as if she was on the Titanic, right? Just the shadowy figure standing at the top of the stairs. <laughs> Hi, sweetie. <laughs> what are you doing here in my house in like 1999? So I screamed. <laughs> Mum and Dad went up to their room, looked around. Yeah, there's no one there, Jamie. That was the yellow house experience. And lo and behold, when we moved out of that house... <laughs> what are you doing? Don't! I'm already scared talking about this. Stop! I can't pause. <laughs> Did ya? Yeah. You scared me when you yelled out. Stop. So lo and behold, when we left the yellow house, no more weird stuff happened. I left it all behind in that yellow house. No more weird stuff. However, I did keep the dreams. I dreamt that repetitive dream for at least one to two years after that, and I swear to God, because of the vibes in the greenhouse and being right next door and dealing with all of these things in the yellow house, they would have been on the same situation of land. They were right next door to each other. So there's got to be something, something buried there. Something going on there. Because when we rented down the street, probably five houses down on the other side, no issue. No issue. And it was the house that I lived in in between those houses. So we went green to that rental down the street to the yellow house. No issues here. Wasn't scared of a thing. It was amazing there. We loved it. I was telling mum today, that was such a lovely house. And she's like, yeah, loved the layout. It was lovely to live there moved into the yellow house and lo and behold all the crazy things started happening <sighs> anyway i don't want to talk about this anymore because i'm getting scared <laughs> and i want to go to bed but i thought i would share that with you if you guys have any weird situations that have happened to you comment down below let me know what little freaky situations you have been in and i hope you enjoy this hot chocky chat see you in the next one